school face. Now this is going to be done on the iPad Pro in Procreate and it's going to be a female face front view. Now you can do this on paper with normal pens, markers, paints, whatever you want. Just copy what I do on there. So I'm going to do this in four layers as usual. So you've got sketching, line work, shading, colour. So start with sketching and then we work our way down. So select the sketching layer. I'm going to select dark reds, sketching, technical pencil. And I'm going to select uh, this to um, drawing assist. Click edit drawing guide and make sure symmetry is on. So I'll do that a little bit slower so you can see. Click up here. Drawing guide. Click that on. Drawing assist and make sure symmetry is turned on down the bottom. This is going to speed up the process of just sketching out the face. So you're going to start with this egg shape. So you're going to round at the top, coming down, around the bottom. Now you want to make sure that you know it's a bit more pointed towards the bottom, like an egg shape, but you don't want to come to a very sharp point. You still want this chin to be nice and round. You know, nice and round and kind of sort of like going up in this kind of direction. You know, that kind of gives it an old school kind of jaw, you know, it's still a round face, but not quite realistic. So I'm going to bring in two curve lines just down here. Bring a line connecting this, it's going to create the neck. Second line just there. I'm going to bring it down to touch, I'm going to go one, two, three. So three curves. And then just mimic those lines below it. Circle on the inside. And two curves just coming out. Just kind of like a cool like, little neck piece. You want to draw a line halfway through the egg. Crawl all the way through the egg. Like all there. So basically it's going to be your eyes, tip of your nose, and that line is going to be where your mouth roughly goes. And this is where I'm going to have like the hair and the headdress or whatever I put in the head. I haven't quite decided yet. So I'm going to start off with the eyes. So you want your eyes to be, start on this line, curving out. And I want to make a kind of happy in this one. So I'm going to have this line come up a little bit higher than this side. If you want it to feel a bit sad, do it the other way around. So bring that out. And I'm going to bring this across. Just a little bit closer. I like this cat to be just a little bit less than what the width of the eyes are. Two circles on the inside. A circle on the inside of those. And you want to do a curved line above the eye. And then coming off to the side, you want to make these lines a fair distance apart. Kind of angling in this rough direction. Just grab your eyelashes. Similar bottom now, but a bit shorter. Just coming out that way, like so. Now I'm going to do the eyebrows, I'm going to sort of curve around the eyes in this kind of way. And they kind of, kind of come a little bit more inwards than what the corner of the eyes are. So imagine this kind of line here. You want to come just a little bit further than the eye. So you're going to bring another line across and connect it up, this line being a little bit of an angle. Now following that, we're going to curve this line down. And this is going to come to our second line, which is here, which is roughly where we want our nose. And this line here is going to help us sort of shape the nose and work out where we want the nostril to be. So we're going to create this little line here. Let me just erase this a little bit so you can see a bit more clearly. I've got a bit dark here. So we're going to create an upward curve and this down. Very simple, just that little shape, just like that. And then two curves just going around the outside of that line. Now the mouth, so we've got here. So you can have that little tip just in the middle of the mouth. Come outwards on the outside. I'm going to bring this up and create a V shape to connect them, just like so. The bottom lip is very much just a curve. And nothing crazy, just a little curve. You can put a little line just there if you want on the side of the mouth, which I quite like, makes it give a hint of a smile. 
So that's the rough sort of details of the mouth, eyes and nose. So now I'm going to turn off the assist, so I'm going to click on the layer, drawing assist and turn it off. Because I don't want this hair to be symmetric. So I want to work out the hair. So to do the hair I'm going to make just build some shapes basically. So I'm going to create one bit coming forwards, and I like it to get very close to the face details. So here I'm going to overlap a little bit, so I'm going to go kind of curve this bit around the eye, so just kind of curving, kind of sort of teardrop comma kind of shape. I can go there, which I quite like. On the second one, I wanted to kind of cut in this cheek bit, so I have one curving this way. Moving this to a point, I'm going to curve this back into that line. Okay, another circle just kind of coming off of here. Another one here. I might have some kind of headband, I think. Coming over the top part just here. No, that's a bit too close, that. I want this to be a bit more over to the side, I think. Don't want to have a center part in. Yeah, I quite like that. So it's going to curve up a little bit. It's going to curve there, under whatever that headband thing I'm going to do at the top is. I'm going to create a curve here. Just so want to might curve into the cheek a bit, maybe. Another circle bit around the outside. A little bit below here. Maybe a little point just kind of curving outwards. Yeah, I think I'll put some sort of circle sort of jaw thing in the centre of the head, I think. I might put an old school flower maybe here. I wish I had a feather or something. No, I quite like I quite like that. Great curve there. Yeah, I think no, that's quite a nice kind of hair shape, got a nice kind of flow to it. You want to make sure it comes up plenty over the head as well. Like where the egg shape is, you want to come quite higher and around. You know, you want like the hair to be quite a feature. And then each side one of these shapes, what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna worry worry too much right now. When I do the pen, I'll sort of go in more detail, but just mimicking the line and just repeating it. So I'm just following the shape of that curve and just repeating it inside that shape. Like here on this one, I'm gonna follow that curve. So I'm just gonna repeatedly do this line across, this line kind of curving this way. This line will be curving that way. You see what I mean? Just generally following the shape of the curves. So that's it for a general basic bit of face. So now I'm going to go in with the line work. So click on your line work. Go black, inking, studio pen. Must be a nice thickness. Yeah, I'll go about that, I think. I'm going to quickly turn on um, drawing assist. Just for the eyes and stuff, just while I do that. So I'm literally going to go over everything in the pen now. The only line I won't do is this nose for the bridge. I'm gonna do that in the uh, in the colour.
can you see burn up these shapes. I did no little curve just on that side bit there. Yeah, I quite like that for the bottom bit. Just gonna do this little kind of dot pattern just through this part. Yeah, I like that. And then just on this a little bit for the top. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna go two parts like that, I think. Curve that way. Curve that line out. Yeah, and the other bits of the hair is going to sit underneath now. So I'm going to turn off the drawing assist now. Because now I don't want these parts symmetric. So I'm going to start with just like the main outline of the shapes. And then I'll get the inside lines done afterwards. I know I say it all the time, but don't worry about going the same speed I do. I am very well and faster what I do, but it's just experience. You know, if you need to pause, rewind, go as slow as you want. You know, if it takes you a year doing one tutorial, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If it takes you 10 minutes, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not about the time, you know, the time is insignificant. Here, so I've got room for this flower. Start with a little circle bit for the center. So I'm just doing like a um, repeating pattern here, just all the way around. So, two curved lines just make two little sort of leaf bits and connect there. There we go. I'm going to turn off the sketching tool now because I don't need that. So, now I'm just going to do those inside lines inside the hair bits. Now I'm going to be a bit quicker this, they might not be 100% perfect, you know, take your time. Turn around this way, I find it easier this way. Yeah, and the distance between the lines is really up to you. It can be as wide or as thin as you want, really. You know, if you want to be fancy, you can always do like a thick line and like a little thinner line in between. It's a very cool effect. Like if I go here, like if I was like to go like so, this is on 28. Something like that, and you get like this cool kind of like effect in between. You know, just play around with it, you know, there's lots of different things you can do. You know, I'm just going for this very kind of like um, bold old school kind of feel, so that's why I'm using the one big line weight. You know, but there's no reason why you can't use different line weights in old school, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be one big bold line. You know, it looks good with that. 
but it doesn't have to be that. As you can see here, I'm slowly transitioning this one from the shape of the inside line to the shape of the outside line. So as you go, you just slowly turn it into that line. You know, try to be neat when you can, but don't worry about a little bit overlapping at this point, especially if it goes hair into hair, because we're going to go very dark with the shading. So a lot of the uh, imperfections won't even show afterwards. But make a point of trying to get as neat as you can, really. It's always good practice to be neat then, not be. That's it for the hair. So I've got the line by set to reference, so just click on it, click reference, and now I've gone to shading. Now, as you've probably seen me do a bunch of times, the reference layer will just allow me to select any bit in between the black lines. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a few bits of hair first. I'm going to select a few sections that are not connecting. You know, it makes it a bit quicker, so I can do all these at one go, and I'm not going to affect the uh, neighbouring bits of hair. So I select these ones first. Right. And now you know me, I like to use the spray paint tool. You know, I just like the effect it gives. It just kind of gives that sort of like dirty kind of edge, almost like um. If you're drawing with pencil or something, or sometimes a watercolour paper. So, yeah. So I'm going to like go black from the edge. And I'm going to create a highlight in each one. So, as we get to this curve in the middle, I'm just going to let it kind of go into a highlight. As we go here, I'm going to go into a highlight. I'm going to go into a highlight. See, that's why I don't set low ones, because I, like, I've done there, I just went into that one, which kind of affected it. And the same principle for all the ones I do here, so creating a highlight in the spaces. And then I'm going to select the ones I have left now, and do all those. Well, I'll tell you, I'm going to have to do this one separately, because that goes into this one. But if you get a voice selection, you can only do it in two or three goes. If you do it on paper, obviously it makes no difference because it's easier not to go over the edge on paper. And to be honest, I love doing this kind of thing on paper. You know, especially like watercolour paints. You know, it is very, very satisfying to do. That's the hair done. I'm going to select the eyes. I'm going to do in pitch black now. So the eyebrows, I want perfect black. The bit behind this necklace, I think I want 
หมูตะวันเพียบรักขอตะวันใหม่กันเราก็หายไล่เช่นลายเอาเราหายไล่นะเอาไฟได้เราสุดหายไล่ But yeah pitch black for the eyebrows Don't necessarily have to but I like doing that I select the flower now Bit small last one a bit of black on the inside part And as you normally see me do Just some black in the bottom part of those leaf blue bits I'm going to automatically select the face now. So I want not too much black in the face. It's mainly a bit around the eyes really I want. I want a bit underneath these eyes. To lie, I'm actually going to go on to um, drawing assist so I can get both bits nice and symmetric. A bit quicker as well. So yeah, a bit of black just underneath the eye. And a bit of black above the top eyelid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it here. And then I'm going to erase this inside part. So I want this flesh tone, I want a bit above the eye. Like so. Left inside the eyes, a bit of black just to the top, inside the mouth, just a little bit of black just from the edge, just a tiny, tiniest little bit, like I've done there. And the rest I think I'm going to do in colour now. So I'm going to go down to the colour. So I've got my sort of custom uh, colour palette here, so I call, I call it Say Joe because it's all like old fashioned colours. So I've got this flesh tone. So you can see where it is on the colour palette just up here. I'm going to select this to begin with. And I'm going to start with the face. So I just select all the areas in the face again. So I'm going to go quite big with this. I basically want to bring it. Turn on drawing assist for the minute. Around here, up across the forehead part, Put it around this nose. Remember that line we done with the bridge for the nose? We're basically going to do that in the colour, like so. And then a little bit just on the bottom part, you know, the uh, the bottom part of the lip, and around the side of the lips, just like so. And now I'm going to select my darker tone, so you can see where that is. It's nice in the red, like the red kind of section. Just gives it a really nice old school kind of feel to it now. So it's old school, kind of like, almost like kind of burnt colours. You know, I love these. Now I'm literally just kind of going over the areas I just done, but just kind of a bit on the inside. So I'm just leaving that lighter shade just on the outside of them like so I've done that I'm gonna do the same thing on the neck now so select that previous color we done gonna come from the sides and a bit under the chin let's take the darker one like so I'm going to select that face again. I'm going to create a new layer here just to make things easier. And I want to select red. And we're going to make this red part on the cheeks now. Again, just turn on drawing assist, just makes it easier and quicker. I'm just going to faintly bring this in. Not too heavy. Yeah, just like so, just like on, on the cheek parts. You know, it's just that really kind of classic old school red. And now again, just red on the lips. Like so. You can put different kind of makeup colors if you want. You could have a bit of different color above the eyes if you wanted to. You know, I'm quite a fan of that. Um, what color made the eyes? I usually make the eyes like an orange. 
That's what it looked like in a grey, rocket brown. Oh, I quite like that. Yeah, I'm going to go for that colour. Right, now I'm going to select the areas I know that I want in colour. So I'm going to select there, 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 and there. Because I know I definitely want these in yellow. So I'm going to select these in yellow. I'm going to select a bit of a sort of caramel tone here. Just put a little bit just on the edge of the yellows. Like so. Let's select red again. Red in this flower. Like so. I'm going to select dark green now. There's leafy bits and then this kind of army green, kind of avocado ish kind of colour. Just on the top bit there. Right. Now. Oop. Get a freeze on me. Bit of green just there. I like that. This inside bit, I think I'm gonna go for old school blue. I might have this bit down here, old school blue as well, so it kind of matches up. And then lastly, we have these bits, and I think I might make these red at the bottom. And that bit red at the top and bottom. And the last thing I think I might do is a few little line details. I'm going to go inking, studio pen, Yeah, I like that. Let's drop down that part. So I'm going to drone assist. And I'm going to put my little trademark that I normally always do on my women. Very simple. Cross on one cheek. So Drawing assist off. There we go. Now it's how to draw an old school face. Front view, female. Hope you like it. I'll do some other ones. I do like a male, and I'll do some other sort of angles as well, so you see how to do those. Yeah, so comment, like, subscribe, and a broken puppet, and I will see you next time. Peace.